Today we're going to do some art in the style of the abstract artist Paul Klee. Paul Klee abstracted his art by breaking everything down into simple shapes. It's still supposed to be something, but it is abstracted and different. We are going to make our own version of the artwork, the red balloon. Now first I'm going to find a place to put my red balloon. This is the first place everybody that looks at your picture's eyes are going to go. It kind of draws them in and lets them look at and think about the picture and engage with it. If you want to make yours different than mine, that is just fine. It does not have to be red. It can be any color you want. It can be different shaped, kind of. Mine is not the same shape as Paul Klee's. But first we're just going to make a balloon somewhere in the picture. Now I'm going to start making buildings. Buildings are, you know, just kind of squares and rectangles, but this is abstracted, so I'm going to kind of break my buildings down into more shapes by making lines that go through them. Each building will be different, abstracted, from what a building looks like in real life. I'm going to break it down, just make it out of different shapes. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start to color in some of those shapes. I'm using crayons because I'm going to use watercolors later, but you can use whatever you'd like. I'm just going to kind of pick places. I'm going to switch up colors a lot. I'm going to make it more interesting that way. It's okay to use the same kind of colors on one side of the page and go to the other side of the page and use the same color. That's kind of helps out with our art. But we're just going to kind of color in our different shapes inside our abstracted buildings. Now, if you want to, you could just keep filling in shapes and coloring it in with crayons or markers or whatever you're using. But if you did use crayons, maybe you want to use watercolors to finish it off. You could just keep filling in shapes with the watercolors, just like you did with the crayons. Mixing up colors, you could fill in the sky, fill in your page. These pictures look great when they're all the way colored in. And bam, there is my abstracted city and the style of the abstract artist Paul Klee. I hope you like learning about abstract art, the artist Paul Klee, and I hope you liked making your city. I can't wait to see what you've come up with for your artwork. Bye, everybody.